All right, so congruent triangles. Um, two triangles are congruent if they have congruent corresponding sides and congruent corresponding angles. So if the sides that match up um, have the same measure and all the angles that match up with each other all have the same measure, then the two triangles are congruent. So um, the easiest way to tell if two triangles are congruent is if you're actually given all the side measurements and all the angle measurements and um, you can tell that all the measurements are uh, all the corresponding measurements are equal so for example here I've got two triangles um, they look like the same shape and size with one kind of turned in a different direction um, are they congruent well uh, let's look at the side measurements first uh, we've got three three five five four four um, so looking good so far. Um, so these two sides are corresponding, the 3 to 3 and 5 to 5. Uh, what's the angle between them? 53 degrees. I don't know, it's hard to read. Uh, this is also 53 degrees. So yeah, these corresponding angles are congruent. And then uh, after that, you've got the 90 degree angle. If you're going from the side that measures um, 3 units, swing around to the side that measures 4 units get three units swing around to four in between them is the 90 degree angle um, and then four coming back around to the five four coming back around to five the angle between them is 37 degrees so all the angles that match up with each other have the same measurement all the sides that match up with each other have the same measurement so yeah these two triangles are congruent good news is that even if you're not given all the measurements there's some rules that tell you um, whether the triangles are still congruent um, and it basically is if you're given some incomplete information um, the, lo the logic of geometry states that um, that it's inevitable that the triangles would be congruent based on that limited information so let me give you some examples there's um, four nice little rules here which we abbreviate um, so we got side 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 SSS um, side angle side SAS angle side angle SAA um, or ASA uh, angle angle side AAS um, I think it's easier just to say the whole name personally so I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this one side 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 um, but if you see these abbreviations these three letter abbreviations that's what it's talking about so so the first test is side 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 um, if I give you um, just the um, the three sides of, of two triangles and the three corresponding sides are equal or are, are congruent with each other that's enough to um, tell me that the two triangles are congruent I should have filled in a, a 7 there so yeah we've got 3, 3, 8, 8, 7, 7 so these two triangles are congruent by the, lo the, by the logic of geometry their corresponding angles have to be congruent as well um, but all we need to know is that the three sides, three corresponding sides are congruent. So, yeah, those would be congruent. Um, another test is side angle side, which means if I've only if I'm only given two sides um, for the triangles, and I know those two sides and the angle in between the two sides, if the two sides are are congruent and the angle um, between them are uh, if the angles between them are congruent, then that's all I need to know to know that these two triangles are congruent. So um, here in this triangle I've got a side length of 3 and then a side length of 7 and in between these two sides I've got an angle of 98 degrees. Well over here I've got a side length of 3 and um, a side length of 7 and in between them I have an angle measurement of 98 degrees. So yeah these two triangles are congruent and that's all I need to know. Another test is the angle side angle which is similar to the side angle side um, but this time I'm given two angles and the side in between them. So here I've got a 98 degree angle and then a side length of 7 and then a 22 um, degree angle. Um, here same thing 98 degree angle side length of 7 and then a 22 um, degree angle. So two angles and the side in between them um, make them m make it so I know that these two triangles have to be congruent. Um, and then finally we've got angle, angle, side, which means if I know two angles and a side that's not between them, 
that's enough information to tell me that the triangles have to be congruent. So I've got um, a 98 degree angle and a 22 degree angle and then um, the side that's not between them is uh, has a length of 8. Here I've got a 22 degree angle and a 98 degree angle and a side that's not between them um, and that's 8. Same measurement so these two triangles are congruent.